Over here. Oh, you no, better stop. So That's cute. Okay. Step over again where you were. Nice. I like when you were. Oh my gosh, <laughs> your eyes are so pretty. They're so pretty. Beautiful. Uh, Let's take a little, walk a little further back. Beautiful. Do you want to try, should we try? Do the cross, cross leaning on the door again. Yeah. Love that. Girlfriend. So pretty. Does that work enough? Pretty! Look at you! You turn it on, and even in the heat, you're turning it on, and it's. Good, good, good. Oh, that's great. He's getting B roll. That's awesome. You're on fire. Yes, don't look at me. Well, I think it's really exciting because I. I try to live like a really healthy, natural lifestyle. And I'm always really curious what other people are doing. I'm always like, oh, what are you doing? What are you eating? What are you exercising? What's the new cool thing? So it's fun that I get to like tell everybody what I'm into right now. I try to do everything that I possibly can, natural and healthy. I love to feel good. I think that the clearer I, my head is and the better I feel, I can accomplish everything that I want to do during the day. So I'm sort of new agey. I drink kombucha and I juice almost every day. And I actually just started getting a delivery because I've gotten too busy, um, which I'm in love with. I've been telling everybody. Uh, I do yoga. I go spinning. I love walking, hiking. I go to the YMCA. I love exercising. Um, you know, I think what, what you put in your body is how you feel. You know, I try to eat healthy 80% of the time. 80% healthy, 80% of the time, to sort of counteract the tacos and hamburgers and things like that that you have to eat on set. But it's important to me to feel good, and um, it's a huge part of my life. When I wake up in the morning, I have a huge, giant cup, like this big, of herba mate tea and, with almond milk in it. And I switched to that from coffee. So I just have coffee every morning. And I switched, and I was realizing, like, I was jittery or like sweating a lot or I couldn't get a full breath of air and um, I switched to Urban Mate and I just feel like energetic but like mm -hmm. clean and, and sort of even so I'm like obsessed with Urban Mate. Well it, it is hard to keep a healthy diet when you're when you're working or you're running around or you're busy I think I think the key and sometimes it doesn't always happen is to eat before you get hungry before you eat before you're starving to death so you make better choices and then you're not going for like hamburgers and donuts. Uh, I try to like just eat as much salad as possible for like the roughage and the fiber and the greens and the nutrients. That way, if you're getting those nutrients and enzymes, you can digest the bad stuff better. I also do this new juice delivery when I'm busy from Press Juicery and I'm obsessed with them and they make amazing press juices. There's no added sugar. A lot of the juice delivery places and the cleanses and things like that add so much agave, and I, I, I don't need that. I don't need like the extra sugar. I don't like it. And this place just does everything just as it is. It's, it's really cool, and it's easy, and they deliver to your house, and you can get like 10 delivered at once, so you're being, you know, green. Well, I think I would definitely be doing something in entertainment. Ever since I was little, I was always playing guitar. Maybe I'd be a rock star. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be a rock star because I'm afraid to perform in front of people. But um, something in entertainment or something creative. However, I have had this fantasy of um, being a spinning teacher. I love spinning and I love the music. Uh, actually, I went to the YMCA recently and dragged my friend with me. And I was all excited to show him spinning. And the teacher didn't show up. And I had my iPhone with me, so... I was like, well, I want to spin. Does anybody else want to? And there were like six people there, and they all stayed, and I taught the spinning class, great. which great. is so That's fun. Awesome. It's awesome. It was a lot of pressure to be like in the front, and you're like, okay, everybody, let's go. <laughs> Do I play guitar, and I sing, and I write songs, and I record them, and I've had a few placements and movies and TV shows that I'm in, and so it's something that I do for fun on the side as a hobby, and sometimes, you know, preparation, whatever, meets opportunity, and 
So I've gotten to uh, some fun placements. But other than that, I have no interest in like touring or, yeah. But, like, <laughs> like it gives me hives just That's thinking great. about it. It's wonderful. Uh, it's called Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23. I play said bitch. And I play this like almost sociopathic trickster. And I also wear high fashion clothing. It's so fun. Basically, I... Um, I consider myself to be a part of the digestive system that is New York City. So I con young girls to move in with me, and then I steal all their money and scare them off and send them backing, send them packing back to Idaho or Iowa or whatever. It's so fun. It's so over the top, and um, it's on ABC, and it's airing in January. I think my personal style is... is I wear a lot of black... But I'm not goth at all. I'm very, I'm still very girly and, and feminine, I think, and light. So, um, like, girly grunge a little bit. I'm a little stuck in the 90s. I'm wearing, like, you know, anything that Winona Ryder would have worn in the 90s, I'm, like, still wearing. Reality Bites, Beetlejuice, like, that's, like, that's the, that's the mecca. Cool. <laughs> um, in my spare time, uh, I don't know, what, what spare time are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. You know, I think um, hiking and, and going to the gym when you can, and, and I try to do a cleanse every couple of months, um, depending on what I have going on. But, you know, for me, I just try to, to get a good night's sleep and drink a lot of water so I can do all the things I want to do during the day. I think... Getting, like, I know if I haven't had sleep and I'm working a lot, you get crazy. You get, like, emotionally, like, volatile. If you stub your toe, you're, like, crying for no reason. So I found that for me, in order to, like, be functioning on full throttle, I need to drink at least eight servings of water. At least. So I'll try, sometimes I'll, like, drink almost my weight in, in water <laughs> and, and get, like, nine hours. Nine hours is key. You know, I am like the least relaxed person ever. I was, I got mono like two years ago and I had to sit down and relax. And so I got cable <laughs> and that really helped me just shut it off and just watch the boob tube. So I think that's, that's okay too. That's <laughs> Watching a little fun. TV. Basically, I, I, the charities that I get involved with seem to have a common theme that they're, you know, to help children in some way because children and animals don't have a voice and, and they need they need a voice and need need to be protected. So a charity that I that I've worked with is called Dare to Share and they raise money for different organizations like, you know, St. Jude and Operation Smile. Um, so, so and then also um, I'm starting to work with Baby Buggy, which is Jessica Seinfeld's company, and I'm doing a little a little project with Alice and Olivia, which 100% of the proceeds of that will go to Baby Buggy. And also I designed a dress with um, a fabulous designer named Coraline Coulter. And 100% of the proceeds of that also go to Dare to Share, which is exciting because 100% of proceeds never go to charity. Right. So so we, you know, you have to keep an eye. When you're designing something or, or figuring out a way to raise money, you have to be cost effective so you can do do that, and 100% of the proceeds will go to charity. Otherwise, like you can't do it. So, so that's an exciting and sort of creative limitation that is fun as well.